muffler and then it's like, vented out. So basically it's set up like a big version of a VW Beetle. Yeah. They actually use part of the frame as the muffler as the exhaust. Bell catcher. Oh, here's the growling dog. <laughs> German Shepherd, a couple of rotten wat methods. And there's the um, police patrol. That guy's tall. He looks like Will, he looks like Will Riker. Will he's in the post office. <laughs> he's like he's, he's like right up there. Yeah. Yep. Looks steam driven. You can see why they called it a pumper because that's all it was was a pump. Yep. They still call them. Big crankjet on that sucker. I wonder if that's solid or hollow. It's probably solid. Oh yeah. The EMT. Thanks for Shiny. 1890. Yep. Costs $2,400 in 1890. Which today would probably be... That's probably a half million today. Yeah. Look at though. That's a lot of weight. It almost weighs as much as my car. Yeah. Took several horses to pull that one. Yeah. Look at all the seats. You got two seats up here. It's like a it's like a reversible thing. That's what it looks like, but it's not. Limousine. Yeah. It's got a rumble seat. Look at that thing. That's what it used to look like. I wonder where they got it. Look at the look at the cloth. The cloth is still good. And then the, this is what it looks like now. That is something. A stort? Stoots? Stoot. Eight cylinder. I think it's an eight cylinder. Nineteen twenty six. Silver yeah, donut tires. <laughs> they knew economy back then. And look, pull down windows, um, curtains, shades. <laughs> They're starting to go back to that too. Except it's the more like conversion vans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, like minivans. Minivans are starting to put those on there. Let's get to that one. Yeah. Let's get to that one yeah. Look at the size of that car. Can you get it? Duesenberg. What? Take pictures. That describes the big headlights. Oh, I, I like to do this to cars like this. See how big the headlights are. Okay. There's a normal sized headlight. Yeah. And there's these headlights. Put, put, put. I'm going to put. Hold on. Turn around. Turn around. Button Turn around. Button. Scale? Stand right there. See? I'm going to take a picture of that. Draft carburetor. Yeah, I like the overhead things like a Saturn. Well, see, that makes sense. They got the hot exhaust above the cold intake. Yeah, makes more sense to me. The gear driven uh, something or other. There's a little cog on the <laughs> fan. Oh, that's fan belt driven. Yeah. It's actually more modern. It's got a nice color. It looks like it's almost the same color as the one on my car. Yeah. Chrysler. Oh, this is baby blue. It's dark. I like this red. <laughs> it's a tricycle. I wonder why the pedals are so sped apart. Oh, oh, I got it. Tiller? Oh. <laughs> That's a long steering wheel. Well, this kind of looks like, oh, it's a cord. That means it's got a big engine. What the radiator? This is a winter car. A winter. That's the radiator right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drive this thing in the wintertime, not the summer. Yep. It's a LaCroix de la Ville. Look at this. Cord. I know. My neighbor Jerry talks about how Cord combined with Lincoln made its V12 engine for one of their cars. <laughs> Is 
Look at look at the knob on it. Look at the crank. Yeah. And they put fins just about anywhere to slip. It's up. probably a, it probably is like an eight cylinder. And like the springy bumpers on it. Springy bumper. You mean the stuff that Oldsmobile tried to do for a little while? Yeah. Elvis is in the building. Mercedes. Yeah. And he, wow, that thing's huge. I didn't know Packard was so big. There he is. Flat, that means it's a Ford. No, oh, wait, Ford? Yeah, Ford. Well, that means Ford used the flathead too. They all use the flathead. Except Buick. Buick used the nail head. Design evolved. Yeah. I like. I like this design, how they fit the wheel inside the fender. Slanted back beam. Suicide. You don't... Oh, that means the doors open different directions, so you don't want to bang the doors together. Yeah. It's like... Okay, guys, let's do it. Wham! Oh, man, you... You scratched one. That's a big car. What up? Rose Rice Phantom. You almost hit two. <laughs> yeah, I almost did. Nice crank stop there. Yep. So you had to crank in that little space right there. Little. Little. Uh oh, it's missing one. <laughs> what's up with the what's up with the little controls? Net next ne ne weak. Strong. Okay, that's probably the carburetor. Yeah, that'd be your uh, ignition. Weak and strong? How would that be? You adjust the uh, ignition inside the huh. vehicle. Look at all those gauges. I can't imagine having... The back's like, the back's like right here. I can't imagine having an accident one of those things. Though. Why? <laughs> Look what you'd run into as a passenger. Yeah. Another big. I like the. I like the kind of this color. It's kind of like a dark plum. cherry. Yeah, plum. Black cherry. Yeah, Duesenberg. Stylish, kind of Art Deco. This one kind of has a 1940s characteristic to it. Yeah. The slant back. The Batmobile. Oh, there's the standard car from the time period. I think it's a Model A. No, it's a T. It is a T. It's a T car. I can never rem remember the difference between the two. Model A is a lot bigger. It is? Okay. It's uncharacteristic because it's not black. Mm -hmm. That's the color they painted the Model A. I like the, a wickered, uh, a wickered basket. What? <laughs> <laughs> the little windows. I know. <laughs> this looks like a steam powered. It's steam powered. It's got PSI on it. Look at the size of that crank. <laughs> Full steam. <laughs> and there's the cylinder. Two cylinder. And there's where you throw the stuff in. And the tender. <laughs> Transporting that no. I, it would have to be oil burner. Of course, I don't think they had too many oil burners back then. Go kart? Yeah. So it looks like a golf cart. Like a big golf cart. Makes it feel like you're flying a World War One. Yeah.